Hey, good Thursday morning. We're live outside Studio 10. I'm Deborah Shrills. I'm Roxanne Wilder. It is a beautiful day. I need some sunglasses, though. That would help right about now. So we had so much fun last night. The two of us both saw Fifty Shades of Grey. We saw it theaters. We're not going to tell you what we just thought today quite yet. We're going to tell you tomorrow when we talk with Sam Hallenbeck, but I had a good time. Oh, I had a great time too, but um, we'll tell you what our reaction is, what we thought there, the movie was like. There were a lot of females in the audience, yeah. at least at my theater, and there's a lot of giggling. Yeah, absolutely. Same thing at my theater too. Well, we are going to tell you what's happening in just a minute outside, but first we want to tell you about a contest that we're having. The Renaissance Festival returns to Mosey this weekend, and Studio 10 wants to send you to the festival. And all you have to do when you hear this sound... Give us a call, be the 10th caller, and you will win a four-pack of tickets. That's right. This contest is brought to you by Studio 10 and the show that, uh, or actually the Bay Area Renaissance Festival, and the show that loves a good game of human chess. Studio always. 10. We always love that. Hey now guys. for the treat. <laughs> We're outside today because we are talking about something that's happening this weekend, and I don't mean Valentine's Day. I mean... The Night Parade, and that is the crew of Santiago Night Parade. And here we're going to talk to a couple of guys, actually three different guys, who are going to tell us a little bit about it. We have Louis Lampanello and Anthony Arena. Louis, you are the chairperson of the parade. For those who have not been out to Ybor City for the parade, tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's a beautiful celebration of Tampa Civic Pride. Uh, come out to Ybor City Saturday. February 14th for the beautiful lights and the celebration in Ybor City. All right, and uh, Anthony, I know you are the El Baron of the crew. Tell me what that means and give me a little bit of background on the crew. Well, El, El Baron, El Baron, as we say, is essentially the president of the crew. It's, uh, it's an honor for me to have the title and to, to help lead our crew this year. The crew of Santiago, it's, uh, we have our, we'll be showcasing our 43rd king and queen, El Rey y la Reina, who happen to be my father and my daughter at the parade this Saturday at 7 o'clock in Ybor City. But we've been around since the early 70s and been proud to be the host of the night parade since then. And when you say night parade, you mean night with a K, correct? Absolutely, just like these nights here. But it is at night, and it does begin at 7 o'clock. Tell me a little bit about what you guys do the rest of the year, Lewis. Well, we host several events, and we have a bunch of community outreach that we do. We have our coronation ball, our debutante ball. And, uh, you know, we do the best we can to raise money for our education foundation. Wonderful. And there is a way that um, people can meet you and meet the chairperson, or I guess the grand marshal of the parade. Apparently, Jerry Springer is the grand marshal along with, let me make sure I get this name right, from Glee, uh, Kurt Mega. And that's at 4 p.m. at the Cuban Club, right? Well, actually... Or at Central Ybor. Actually, they, they will be there, I believe, performing a vow renewal. And just to make sure we're clear, they are very special guests of ours, but the Grand Marshal this year is actually the Shriners who I think you'll be talking to uh, Mr. Litch from the Shriners. Well, that's a great introduction to talk to them right now. In fact, Roxanne is standing by with someone from yes, the Shriners. Yes, I want to introduce you to James Litch, Assistant Raban for Tampa Egypt Shriners. And for those of us, we know all the philanthropy that the Shriners are involved with. But give us a story behind you. Well, Egypt Shriners has been in the Tampa area for about 99 years, and uh, we are an organization that helps children with medical needs. But more importantly, or not more importantly, but as important this weekend, we're trying to uh, show people in the community who we are, what we are, and thanks to the Knights of Santiago for giving us the opportunity to be Grand Marshals. Uh, and not only Grand Marshals, but we have a block party on Friday night at the Cuban Club to help celebrate and open the weekend, and we're really looking forward to it. So, James, you have the block party, and you also have the pre-parade parade. That's where we're going to see the Motor Corps. Give us a story behind that. <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact, uh, that's why I'm on the motorcycle this morning, came out to showcase the motorcycle. We're actually going to be opening up the parade 15 minutes before it goes off with uh, about 50 to 75 Shriners on motorcycles. In fact, we have folks coming from Orlando. We even have a Shriner coming in from Oklahoma to spend his spring break here to party with us during this parade weekend. So I can only imagine it's a wonderful time for you all to get together knowing you're helping out and giving back, but having a party, having a good time. We're really excited and we're really excited what this is going to do for the organization as well as supporting our good friends in the Santiago crew. Yes. How did that partnership come about? 
<laughs> well, that partnership came about uh, with three of us really uh, sitting around a, a table, you might say, and discussing uh, how can the Shriners be more participatory in the parade itself? How can we get back and engaged and involved? And then it's just blossomed into something much larger than that. Thanks to Jamie Lawrence and Louis Campanello uh, and El Baron Anthony Arena for giving us this opportunity to be Grand Marshals. Well, thank you, James. We're going to toss it back to Deborah. Hey, Lewis and Anthony, I have to ask about your costumes because they're so gorgeous. Where do you have these made? Well, different seamstresses make our costumes. Mine was made by Ellen Smith. Uh, Anthony was made by... Um, I, I, mine was made here in Tampa as well. We, we've used many different uh, costume makers to make the costumes. All right, I've got to see the back of yours because I understand you have a bucket. Look at that, Buccaneers in Swarovski crystal. you got to love that. But now I have to ask you guys because it is Valentine's Day this Saturday night, and I understand you have some beautiful beads, but, but what's, the, what's the best way to get these kind of beads? Well, you can come down to Ybor City, have dinner, but at dinner you won't get beads like this. You have to come to the night for Oh, I oh I, I, thank you. I, I promise, Roxanne, I'll give you one of these. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. Hey, guys, here's more information on the crew of Santiago Night Parade. It's this Saturday night at 7 p.m. in Ybor City. The pre-parade starts at 4 p.m. For more information and everything you'd ever want to know about the Night Parade, go to Night Parade, and that's with a K, Night Parade. Dot com. Thanks so much, guys. Great job, guys. Hey, coming up next, author Lisa Unger is going to tell us.